Solomon's Tales. He's back in Patea. Oh, week left. Had his breakfast about 11 in the morning. Comes out, walks down to the beach, turns right, goes along a bit, has a bit of a walk, then perches himself on the sort of wall, looking out to the sea, contemplating life, contemplating getting Thailand out of his system. He loves it there. Something special, some feeling that people are lovely. Okay, there's all the, the wonderful, pretty ladies, and but it's just so different from normal life back in your own country and work. And, but it's not cheap. Keep staying there, keep spending money every day. Beer, food, girls. You know, he can easily spend 5,000 baht a day, 10,000 baht a day. Which is, you know, it's a few hundred pounds every day. You can soon pile through the money. He thinks, oh, I've got to go back to the UK. And he thinks, will I ever come back here? So it's just, it's not a good place for, for a single guy. You could easily want to stay here and live here. Oh, he's right. What haven't I done in Patea? Never tried those first first few visits. And he thinks, soy six. I heard a lot about it. He walked up and down it a couple of times. It just like looked like normal bars. Quite a few were enclosed. He thinks, oh, I'm just gonna have a walk up there. So he wanders up the beach a bit further past Central Road, soy six. It's a bit of a sort of scruffy road. And there's lots of bars up there. There's cars parked on sort of one side sort of not parked very well either bikes everywhere deliveries beer and everything going to the bars but there's girls all over the place sat outside the bar in a row on seats and he has a walk up and he thinks okay first beer of the day little place on the left he sees doors open looks through the door so a couple of girls in there and there's in he goes so so as you walk in there's got the bar on the one side there's a two seater set sofa and then there's a gap and there's another two seater sofa facing the same way and then another one behind facing a wall <laughs> one guy sat at the bar foreigner a girl talking to him there's two girls sat on one of these seats anyway they sort of beckon him in he sits down on the sofa the first sofa so he's facing the two girls sat in front of him and i want to drink and he's like yeah, uh, and he couldn't make his mind up. He's like, like well, whatever, Chang. What is it? So she, she gets up, walks across the bar, which is a good four feet away. It's quite a small bar. The other girl drops onto her knees. So she sat on the sofa facing him. She drops onto his knees, her knees, and she shuffles towards him. And he thinks, you know, he's looking down at her. Next thing, she's undoing his um, shorts. Girls over there comes back with a beer a bottle in the sort of rubbery condom thing to keep it cool. Walks behind him and starts massaging his shoulders. The girl in front becomes a dentist or an extraction in process. In progress, there's a guy sat there five feet away from him with his back to him, but talking to a girl barmaid, door behind him is wide open to the soy, massage, oral extraction, and he's like, what the hell, he'd not, not experienced that before, and he's like, and he's like I, I can't, I'm trying to drink and, and all this going on, it's like, <laughs> imagine if the bar's full, <laughs> and there's several dentists in there, <laughs> be like, oh, whatever, it seems to be there. So he's sort of relaxed and he's having a drink of beer, massage. The girl in front of him uh, succeeds, um, goes through the clean up and stitch up operation and, and uh, all sorted. And just sort of calmly walks off to a little, must be a toilet at the back. It comes back, sits down in front of him. 
buy me a drink? And he's like, I mean, he's sort of embarrassed. He's like, not really, I want to get out of here. And he's like, nah, he says, oh, bin, check bin, get me the bill. Knocks the beer back. Still got a massage going on here. Bin comes back. It's about 80 baht for the thing. Girl in front, the, the dentist, was about 500 baht. And he felt obliged to give the girl, he, he threw her 100 baht. 600, 700 baht. He's only been in there like 30 minutes. He's had a beer, seen a dentist, had a massage. <laughs> That's soy six. Expect the unexpected. And he's like, a little bit embarrassing. It's all different. He's like, weird. In open, in the open bar sort of thing. Up he gets, out. Back towards the beach, he thinks, oh my God. That's what soy six is. And you think, that's what every bar is down there, basically. It's just a very big dentist area, or an extraction area. Good experience. Very good. Would you do it again? Maybe. It's quite cheap. Hmm. Yeah. Heads down the beach. <laughs> Walks on the beach, but sits on the beach again, on the wall. Oh, God people watching as well there's loads of people on the beach lay down on sheets and things having massage proper oil massages he thinks oh, I'll try one of those this week looks quite nice a lot of sand about but yeah it's just <laughs> what a morning he's only been in Patea what 18 hours he's had a girl that looks like Ning bit of a sleep food steak breakfast seen the dentist <laughs> Chilling on the beach again. Oh, he thinks, Oh my god, how the hell can you get Thailand out of your system? Oh, he says, oh, okay. Now, last time he was there, he worldwide go a go go right on the front on the beach somewhere, soy four, soy six. So he wasn't far away, and he's thinking. Fancy another drink, not so much another woman, but a bit of music, something to look at. Yeah, plan hatched. Up he gets, walks along, it's not far. It's open. That was only midday, it's open. Unusual go go bars open at midday, but yeah. Crosses the road from the beach, in he goes. Quite a lot of girls in there working on the poles. He thinks, oh, this is the life. Sits on the side, or a little bit away from the stage, in the sort of middle. Orders a drink, Mama San comes over, starts chatting to him. He's after a drink, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, nah, not, not biting, he's just in there to relax and just have a goggle, a, a look. And, uh, He'd been in there, maybe the first time he'd uh, gone to there, and he had taken a girl from there. Um, sure enough, yeah, she's on the stage. Now, he sort of recognised her, she recognised him. Straight away starts waving and, and he thinks, oh, God, is that the girl? I'm not sure she was... Then he's starting to think back. This is a, it feels like forever since that time. Was she good? Was she annoying? And he thinks, I can't remember. He just couldn't remember. <laughs> His mind's not with it. Uh, music finishes. Down she comes, of course. Straight over. Nods at him. Drink, 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 drink. And he thinks, oh. He feels obliged, you know. He can't remember. Yeah, okay. She sits down. Starts talking. Pretty girl. Very pretty, very nice. And he's like, oh, I don't really. It's he's just had a visit to the dentist. He's like, no, no. And he says to her, I'm just relaxing today. I uh, drink too much yesterday. Usual. Have a beer. And he sits with the girl, watching the other girls. And then again, he's feeling a bit awkward. He's thinking, I don't want another girl. Oh, not yet. 
It's only lunchtime. <sighs> She's pushing him. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Finish his beer. He said, no, no. Maybe I'll see you another day. I'm here for a, a week. Another day. It wasn't a good move going in there. <laughs> Don't go back in the places you've been, especially if you've took a girl, because if you're not going in to take a girl, you, odds on you're going to find the same girl's going to spot you. He felt awkward there as well. Soy Six felt awkward. God, this is not turning out to be a great day so far. Pays his bin, her lady drink, about 120 baht, about 100 baht for his. Out he comes. Bright sunlight, and he's coming out from that dark go go. He's like, whoa. Thinks, I'm going to go back to the hotel. I fancy a swim, but I don't think that hotel's got a pool. And he's, he couldn't, couldn't remember. He said, I want to swim. I'll go on the beach. I'll go back to the hotel, get me, get me swimming shorts and stuff. Dump my stuff, go and have a swim. Good idea. Back, the song tell back buses. I'm lazy. Just jumps on one, 10 bar down. So he ate up, grabs his stuff. Good as a swim, sits on the beach as well, took the towel out of the hotel. And he has a relaxing couple of hours down on the beach. Quite a few people coming up trying to sell stuff to him. Leather goods, silk, sunglasses. A few, even a few freelancing girls coming up chatting. He's like, blimey. Huh. And he's right, plan of action. This is the first full day of Matea. What am I going to do tonight? Got to go to Walking Street. Got to go and there's so many bars down there. So many go-go bars. You just can't see them all. And he thinks I've got to go in some I've not seen before and have a look. He thinks that's the plan. Back to the hotel. Cut the hours, Kip. I start early. He's going to uh, yeah early evening. Throw some clothes on, shower, throw some clothes on. Food first, at the hotel. Starts walking along the beach road towards Walking Street. Plaza shopping centre, Burger King. That'll be good, good bit of substance. In he goes, Burger King. There's freelancers outside already. Shouting at him and talking as he's walking past. In he goes, he's sat inside and he can see out the window. <laughs> They're just all there lined up. Oh. What a place. There is a woman for every single person on this planet and they all live in Batea. <laughs> he thinks. And he's, he's sat there thinking, I wonder what this these girls, you know, good, bad, what experience would be. Is there a wife there? Oh no, don't go there. Is there a wife? Oh, no, no, no. He's going for the four weeks, hedonistic holiday. Get tied down animal system for Christ's sake. Don't come back with a, a wife. <laughs> no. Not in his plans. He has his burger, chicken or whatever it was. Comes outside. The, the freelance girls are all waving and nodding and winking. Turns left, heading towards Walking Street. So it must be seven in the evening, really early. Crosses over to the beach side. Pavement's better. But there is girls all the way down and guys sat there and it's just lady boys, everything. And he makes it all the way along to Walking Street. Right, action, Walking Street. There's a hundred bars there, there's probably 30, 40 go-go bars, nightclubs, plan of action, first night walking street what will happen how will the night turn out he's done a few of these before these bars but he's going to do ones that he's not done i'll leave it there we're in walking street he's already had a pretty good day but the night is young pocket full of money Want something different. Not ladyboys, he's not into ladyboys, even though they're beautiful. 
there's a few ladyboy bars on Walking Street. But no, what can be what can be different? It's had a couple of girls at the same time, you know, the old uh, Eden Club and the twins of Soy One or whatever it was under the railway bridge in Bangkok. Something different. Walking Street. See you on the next one. What will he do? Mm.